Hey guys, what's up? It's Angelina and welcome back to my channel. I think this is the longest I've taken a break since starting this channel and for that I'm so sorry but if you guys don't know and you're new here, I'm actually in nursing school so I'm also in an accelerated program so I've been so busy like every single day that I just haven't had time to sit down and film but I have missed you guys so much and I have a bunch of new PR that I just can't wait to try with you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into it. Surprise, surprise, Desi actually sent over some of her Desi skin line, which I love Desi. I've been following her since like the very beginning. She was high key my favorite YouTuber for a very long time way back in like 2015. So I got so excited when I got an email from Desi and this is the do me over prep set and refresh face mist and i love the packaging i think it's very her it's very sleek and chic can be used on bare skin to prep and hydrate or after makeup okay cool so let's use it to prep today just because oh my god look at how beautiful i think it's a really fun bottle this would definitely look amazing on your vanity gonna shake it a bit and then I'm just gonna prep my face with this okay I actually really love the sprayer on that it's not super harsh but it's also not super lightweight I'm gonna also spray it on my chest for some hydration I have shifted a little bit more that way because I think the Sun is moving so anyways now we're a little bit overcast but we're going to keep the show going. That's just the fun perks of filming in natural lighting. This is definitely something that I'll have to keep continuing to use to see my full thoughts, but I do really like the packaging, if that counts for anything. Normally, what I actually have been using a lot in my day-to-day -day life is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Micro Serum, which I think you guys might have seen me use this a few times before, but this is actually one of my favorite steps to prep my face. It is super hydrating, it smells great, it's really light and sensitive on the skin, so I love using this every day, but I'm not going to use it today. I really want to go back in with my Refi Primer, which this is the Face Primer Glow and Sculpt. I just really like this. This is probably like one of my newer purchases, and I really do like this for hydration because while it does look a little bit gimmicky, trust me, it's actually so nice on the face and i know people are worried about it spreading bacteria but honestly if you're the only one using it and you wipe it off every time i think you should be okay but i'm sure you guys can see how nice that is you're supposed to kind of like roll in one direction but i just kind of roll it all around to kind of get the product further into the skin i think this is honestly one of my favorite products when it comes to prepping the skin. I was going to test out the Hollywood Flawless Filter because this is a different shade, I believe, than the one that I have. 4.5 medium and I own 5 in this line and it's too dark. So I just wanted to maybe put this in my high point because I wanted to just test out this shade specifically. Because if you are my skin tone, 5 is too warm. And what I'm starting to realize is that I have a very neutral skin tone. So if I am going for an illuminator, I need it to be more on the neutral side. Kind of more like silvery almost. Versus being overly warm or else it just looks very weird on me. Oh, but look at how pretty this is. I definitely think... If you are my skin tone match, you need to get 4.5. I have a whole video on the Huda Beauty Peach Faux Filter Corrector, but I'm actually not going to use that today. So that's just a newer product that I talked about, I think, in my last video. But I have been using the Lancome All Over Concealer, and this is new to me. This is in the shade 420. I think it's 420 Bisque Neutral. And I actually really have been loving this. I got sent this by Lancome. I think when I went home for spring break. And at the time I didn't have a concealer. Like I didn't bring one with me back home. So I was like, oh, let me just use this since it came in the mail. 
And what I really like about this is actually the color. It is honestly the most neutral concealer that I have. And you know, like in the beginning, I was like, oh, like the color looks a little odd because it's almost like super cool tone, like super neutral in the packaging. But trust me, it just works if you're my skin tone and you're more neutral. I definitely would say try this. I think it also provides really nice coverage. And I really have been using this every day because it's almost like the exact skin tone match for me. And I think it might be the closest skin tone match of anything I've actually ever tried. So yeah, even though it does look a little gray and weird in the packaging when you're just like looking at it in the bottle, it honestly is perfect for the skin. And I think that's kind of like so hard because I feel like as a person of color and especially as like a brown girl, I feel like most of the time products cater to brown people who are like more warm tone or I don't know if it's necessarily that there are more people who are warm tone or if it's just because brands always come out with more products leaning towards being warm if you are medium skin tone like it's like medium warm and I feel like because of that all of the like mainstream products or like the shades that everyone uses they always tend to be they always tend to lean warm and for a long time I was purchasing a ton of warm tone things because I do think it's definitely way more flattering than cool tone on me but it's also like that's just mainstream how people do their makeup like it's always leaning towards being warm tone whereas now I have realized that I have a neutral skin tone and sometimes when things are too warm it just looks odd. Base today I actually wanted to try this foundation I haven't tried it yet I bought it and like never tried it this is from Makeup by Mario it is the shade 120 and I don't know much about this but I do know a lot of people enjoy it so I want to give it a go. So I'm just going to start with this much and see what happens. I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush. Okay, so obviously this is leaning towards being warm tone. But it's fine. We're just going to make it work. I do have a lot of redness on my face. And that is something that... I don't know. I wouldn't say it's new. But it's definitely something that I think since being in Miami, I've been noticing more. I do wear sunscreen and stuff like that, but I just feel like in general, my skin is just a lot more red. Love a really nice luminous foundation because it just looks more natural and like more realistic. I will say though, I think that this is actually a lot more luminous than I was anticipating. So I hope you guys have been doing well. I honestly think about my beauty channel all the time. But now that I'm mainly posting on my lifestyle channel, I feel like all my time goes to doing lifestyle stuff. And also short form content. I've been focusing a lot on TikTok this year because I just feel like I have to. And I kind of, not that I forget about this channel, but like I said, it's just kind of like, on the back burner, I also still post makeup reviews and stuff like that on my TikTok. So in case you're ever just wondering what I'm up to, check me out on TikTok and Instagram. I feel like I would probably reach for this during the day just because it is super luminous. And I feel like at night, I tend to go for more full coverage and more of a matte look. For bronzer, this is new to me. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. Why is it such a long name? It has really big packaging. Before I go in and actually set my face down, we're gonna use this because this is like a cream kind of product. And so because of that, I want to just lay everything down first. So I actually love the fact that it comes with a huge mirror, but I'm just gonna take my brush, this little tiny one, I'm gonna get it on here. And I think I'm just gonna use this to lay it down. just so I can be a little bit more specific with it. I think my concern with this product is that it might be patchy for some reason. I don't know why, but I think 
that it just scares me to use it. So this brush is not as dense, so I was thinking that this might be a good brush to diffuse it with. Okay, yeah, that honestly blends out really easily. Which, again, I really wasn't expecting. For some reason, I think I was just expecting this to be difficult to work with. But it actually is blending just fine. Okay, I just wanted to try to pick some up with this brush and see how that works. Okay, yeah, honestly, even if you go in with a brush that's not as dense, I feel like it's almost better because it picks it up just a little bit, but it's kind of nicer because you're able to build it up slowly. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to use my Givenchy powder because it is my favorite powder. Like, where have you been? And I also have another, another powder, but that is pressed, and that's going to be for the under eye. So I'm just going to use this for my face. I know that the Sephora sale is like happening as I'm filming this. I don't think I'm buying anything this year. If I do buy anything, it'll just be like a refill of something that is done. Like for example, my Rare Beauty, um, my Rare Beauty brow gel is finished and I really love that stuff. So it's honestly really cheap like as is compared to what is normally sold at Sephora. So, you know, I just didn't really feel like repurchasing, but I'm gonna have to because it is my favorite thing. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want. I mean, look, at the end of the day, there's a bunch of new things that I want that I could get, but again, I'm still focusing on being on a low buy slash no buy. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, I really haven't purchased anything in quite a bit. So I'm actually really proud of myself for that. So I love the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder because it sets everything down so well and it like is super mattifying, which living in Miami you need because it's very hot here and humid. So I really do enjoy the way that that sets my face down. It is from Pat McGrath. This is the Pat McGrath Powder in Medium. It looks like this. And this is like the under eye what is it called? It's the Sublime Perfection Powder, um, but these this is meant for like your under eye. Apparently it's supposed to be really blurring, so I'm excited to try this out. I think I'm gonna go in with like a fluffy brush for this one because I just kind of want to like put it over the powder. Ooh, this is very powdery and very um like delicate. So I would recommend not being rough with it. I probably could have put on more concealer today, but I just didn't want like a full coverage look. Okay. I feel like I might have to try this powder again when I'm going for a more like full coverage kind of look because right now like it looks fine, but I'm not noticing anything special. I also still have a little bit of darkness there. So that's probably my fault because I didn't use enough concealer. I do have this Hourglass ambient lighting bronzer in the shade radiant bronze light so it looks like this and i'm really excited because i haven't tried anything really from hourglass except for the concealer which i do like but not any of their like powder products which is what i know that they're known for this huge fluffy brush get it on there and just kind of go over the areas that i bronzed oh well wow. Okay, what I'm noticing about this is that it is very, it's very sheer, you know, and it is baked, so it's kind of not supposed to be this, it's not supposed to be a very in-your-face product, but you can definitely see it, and it also has a really nice luminosity to it, while also still giving you the bronzy tones, and I think that looks so 
pretty. But I feel like you could also go ham and like douse your face in this and nobody would ever know. I think this is nice for like lighter makeup days or if you're someone who just in general like you want a bronze but you don't want it to be super over the top. I talked about Chantikai I believe in the last video that I filmed but I don't think I showed you the blush. I have really small hands and this is smaller than my hands. But I mean I do love what Chantikai stands for. They really do help the animals. I just think I should have picked up a different shade. This is really nice but it's very natural which I mean I guess for the look that I'm doing today is fine. I don't know if you guys can even see that but it's a very nice subtle pink color on my skin tone. I usually just kind of go in and build it up because I personally love a lot of blush. It is a really like expensive luxurious product so I'm not really sure that you would actually reach for this every day, but it is still nice if you just are someone who loves Chantecai. Also, my nails. I got sent these nails. They're press-ons because if you know anything about nursing school or being a nurse, you can't really have nails like that. But I did do my nails for the weekend. Also, my ring. Also, I did pick up this ring from Dior recently. Um, and look at how pretty it is. But anyways... I do have an unboxing of the Dior ring on my TikTok, um, but I think I'm going to post it on my Instagram Reels as well. But yeah, I just wanted to do my nails and feel like a regular human being today. I have a few things I want to mention and talk about. So in my Ipsy this month, I got the Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Cheek Palette, which Lunar Beauty is Manny MUA, right? Which I have heard about his brand, but I haven't tried anything from him. It's very textured, which I thought was cool, and it's very colorful, which I don't really love. I don't really watch Manny MUA a ton, so I'm not really sure if, like, his vibe is, like, very colorful, like, he likes a lot of colors, because if that's the case, then that makes sense. I definitely think there's a lot of fun shades in here that you could use. I don't think that I need any more blush in my collection right now, because I have a ton open, so I would probably be gifting this to somebody, but I thought that it was cool that it was in this month's Ipsy. Recently, I've been trying the MAC Stack Mascara, which I think you guys might have seen. A lot of people have been saying how good it is, and I've used it a couple of times, but you guys can be the judge. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I still prefer my Benefit Mascara, the one that I always use in the black and pink packaging. I think it's FanFest. I just prefer a drier mascara, and this is very wet, but... Let's just do our mascara. Oh, I do have another mascara I wanted to try. I think this is a mascara that I would like as it dries up over time, you know what I mean? And I don't know, I just feel like this one can look a little bit clumpy. But you guys will see what it actually looks like when I go ahead and curl it. On the other eye, I'm going to try the YSL Lash Clash, which I've been wanting to try, but this is the waterproof version. So now that they released a waterproof version, I feel like I'm going to love this so much more. So I'm going to let both of my mascaras dry before I curl them so we can really compare them. But I will say, I feel like these days I mostly just wear my natural lashes versus actually like putting on lashes unless I'm like going out. So these days I'm like more interested in mascara in general versus falsies or anything like that okay so this is the mac stack which this one takes a lot longer to dry than the lash clash from ysl okay that's after me curling it once honestly they both look very similar like they're both very similar i think the only thing that i feel like would be the difference is sometimes with Waterproof mascaras, they tend to like hold up better throughout the day. So even though they're curled right now, throughout the day, they might fall. So because they usually fall a little bit, like they don't always look like this throughout the day. So I will say that will probably be the determining factor for me personally. But so far, based on initial application, I think they both look great. So whether or not you want the Lash Clash waterproof or you want the Mac Stack, then I would say just go with whatever is better for your wallet. This is from Give, which is Gwen Stefani's brand, and it's being sold in Sephora. This is the shade Lovable Me, 
I got sent this in an Ipsy and I'm just curious to see the formulation. Packaging is very Gwen Stefani. It's like rocker girl vibes. Let's see. The color of this looks so pretty and that's why I wanted to try it. I'm going to try it by itself and then if I need a lip liner, I'll just do that. But oh my god, you guys, this shade... Like, this shade is so nice. I don't even need a lip liner. And also, I feel like it's very unique. Like, it's pink, but it's definitely more, like, deeper than that. Which, it looks so nice on my skin tone. It's also matte. So, if you don't like matte, then you probably won't like this. I don't really like matte all the time. But if I'm going for, like, a long wearing vibe, then yes, I do matte. I really, really like this color. Okay, good thing I tried that because I was going to give it away, but thank God I tried it. So Then I wanted to try the Forget the Filler Line Plumping Smoothing Gloss, but this is in a different shade that's new. This is the Maple Sugar shade, which is a deeper shade. I feel like this could be an everyday gloss for somebody like me because it is deeper, but it's not so deep where you're like, you look weird. Like, it's like a wearable, deep kind of shade that you could probably get away with wearing every day. I also just prefer glosses in general for every day because my lips get dry throughout the day and eating, talking, whatever. So, I like this. So, getting into some other exciting stuff. YSL Love Shine Lipsticks. There goes the sun. But look at these. Look at the packaging. I'm so excited to get into these. I have looked at them and there's a few shades that I probably won't wear every day or won't get use out of so I probably won't try those ones on but the ones that I think I'm going to keep, I'm going to try those. This pink packaging around the ends but that's not on par with what the shade is, they're just that shade on the outside. So if you don't look at the bottom for the name then you won't know what shade it is. I think I tried this one before so I think I'm going to keep this one, this is Peachy Glow. And I don't know why this one is called Peachy Glow because it is not peachy to me. It's very mauve. These are so slick. Like, so, so slick. Okay, so this is Peachy Glow. As you can see, I don't know why it's called that. It's not peachy. Not peachy at all, actually. These are not going to be long-lasting, like, at all because they literally feel like nothing. So this one looks like it would be fun, but I don't wear reds. I think for you guys, I'll just try it because I'm trying to think. Do I want to try this or do I want to give it away? Because if I get this, I probably won't keep it or use it. So I probably just won't even try that on. 200 Rosy Sand. I'll try this one. I feel like this should have been the peachy one, but apparently it's not. So, oh no. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. If I did wear this, I'd have to wear it with a lip liner. As you can see, that's a little too nude for me. So that, I don't know. I'll probably give that to my sister because she likes nudes. I don't. Not this nude. Anyways, what should I do for my lips? Okay, let's actually go in with a lip liner. Let's do stone. Maybe we'll just pat some of this in the center. Because I really like this. Okay, maybe like that. My Maple Sugar Forget the Filler Lip Gloss. Okay, so Lush actually sent over a few things. Um, they have this new thing. It's called Fresh Kitchen, and it's a monthly subscription. And I've been getting the monthly subscription for, this is my second month. So I love it because they send over, like, kind of a breakdown of what's in this month's box. And this month we got a lot of cool things, so I wanted to mention them to you. I also like Love Lush because I grew up getting stuff from Lush because before I did makeup and everything, I was a Lush girl. Okay, so something that I thought was very cool was this month I got the Guardians of the Forest Kitchen Exclusive Body Scrub. So you can only get this with the subscription. I love body scrubs and I love... I love Lush again. So this is a mossy green aroma of calming cypress and mystical oak moss fills the shower, transporting you into the trees. Why does that sound like twilight? Obviously, it's an exclusive, so I haven't tried this before, but I will fully be putting this in my shower this month. 
especially because it's a new month, it actually just smells really, really fresh and herbally, which I love. It kind of smells like dirty, but not as sweet. If you know what dirty smells like from Lush, my all time favorite scent from Lush. Then I have the Birch Sap Soap. So this is a soap, which means I'll be able to use this. I didn't open it. Well, the only reason why I didn't open it is because I thought that it was a bath. You know those like bath bars or whatever they're called? Ooh, okay, this smells amazing. Also, look how pretty it is. That is so pretty. Whenever I get this box, like I'll usually like open it, like, you know, unbox it and like leave it in a corner for a little bit. And it makes my entire apartment smell like lush if you've ever walked in there. Green Man, which is a bath bomb. And I usually when I get these and I throw away the packaging, I just put them in these little Ziplocs to keep them fresh. Oh, this one smells so lemony, which I love. And it says Lush. This one is cool, but this one I think is a little bit more melty. Oh, this one is, this one I think smells the best so far. This is the bath bomb in Never mind the ballistics. Look at how pretty it is. This one smells the best. This one is super sweet and it gives the vibe that it would be. Oh, I love this one. I have to use this one. Like, no exceptions. I will be using these because they smell great. This solid perfume from Lush. But I've been using this a lot because it's a solid perfume, which I've never tried before. But as you can see, it kind of looks like a lip balm. But what I've been doing is just taking some on my finger and it's almost like a coconut oil consistency and just putting it on the like inside of my wrist, behind my ears, kind of anywhere that you would like put perfume. This smells amazing so I will be using this. I just thought it was very unique that they have these now like cause I don't think they used to sell stuff like this. But yeah, I love it. Whenever I get the fresh kitchen boxes, I'll try to show you, them to you because I just think it's very interesting. I remember back in the day, people would do these huge, massive Lush hauls and it's just very nostalgic of old time YouTube. So I would love to incorporate Lush hauls on my channel again. But again, thanks to Lush for sending me these like really nice monthly surprises. Okay guys, so thanks for hanging out with me for a bit today. I just wanted to try some new products with you guys. I know you guys haven't seen my face on here in a minute. I'm so sorry about that. Trust me though, I will be back and better, I promise. Hopefully you guys saw me test some products that you were thinking about getting or interested in and let me know if there's any new products that you want me to test because that is what I'm here for to try out new products and to give you guys my thoughts and also like let you guys know my favorites and stuff like that because it is just so important these days to make sure that we spend our money on things that are actually worth it because everything is so expensive like living is so expensive getting groceries is so expensive I don't want you to waste your money on makeup products that aren't going to work for you or aren't actually worth the hype because these days, especially with TikTok and all of the short form content, everyone just hypes everything up and most of the time I just don't think a lot of it is actually worth it. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AngelinaSerenaXO and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.